What happens if you leave your keys inside your Jeep? Will it lock you out? Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right, I was curious. What does happen if you leave your keys inside the Jeep Gladiator or even the Jeep Wrangler? You know, I happen to have two, so I'm curious, is there any difference? Will they react the same way? Will it actually lock me out if for some reason I pull up and forget to grab my key? You know, we have these push button things, right? Push button start. And there's even a slot that they give you in the center console area to store your key while you're driving around. I'll show you that if you're not familiar with it. But I got to thinking, well, since they give you all this, there must be some kind of safety check or issue if you get out, hit the lock button, and forget to grab your key, right? So we're gonna find out. First one we're gonna start with is the Jeep Glad or the Jeep Wrangler, rather. This is a Jeep JL. Um, I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna start it up. I'm even gonna put it in drive, you know, like I just came home. And, uh, and then I'm gonna leave the key in the center console area. And we're gonna see once I get out, I'll hit the lock button and see if indeed it actually does lock me out. I'm very curious to see. So right here in the center, and it might be a little bit dark actually, unfortunately, um, but right down here, and you'll be able to see it better once I get outside in the, the gladiator, but I'm gonna put the key down there. So there it is. It's in the little holder in the center here. We'll shut the door. You know, because most people don't drive down the street with the door open, I don't think. Start it up. Let's uh, crank the radio off. Oh, can't wait. Figure out how to do that. There we go. I was actually turning the air control. That's good. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead, shift into to drive. Um, like we've been driving home, right? So, or driving around, I should say. And we'll go ahead... I am going to lock it up as if we were driving. So right now it's locked up. So I get home, push the button to shut it off, and then forget that the key is right there in the center. I know you probably can't see it. We'll open the door to get out, and I'll go ahead and hit the lock button. Because, you know, let's say I'm not at home and I'm at a store somewhere or something. And then we'll shut the door. There. Now, of course, you probably heard it beep, right? The lights flashed in the front, and I'm assuming it did not lock. At least I hope not, because if it did, then I have to go find my other key. Uh, and it didn't. You can see right there, it did not lock up. So, that is a good thing. Now, let's go ahead, get back in, see if there's any warnings or anything. Nothing on the dash there, so nothing to tell me that I left my key in. Now, real quick, let's see if it uh, shows me anything when I just open the door and hit the lock button. There we go, and it still doesn't show me anything, so that's okay, that's a good thing, I think. Nothing to tell me that I've locked the keys inside. So, that's what it does in the Jeep Wrangler JL. Now, this is a 2018. Of course, the Jeep Gladiator behind us, which we're gonna do here in just a second, is a 2020, so a little bit newer. All right, let's hop up inside here. And here, of course, is the center console area. I was talking about this slot here. If you didn't know, that is designed to put your key in. Of course, when you put a bunch of other stuff on it like this, it doesn't fit quite as well, but it does fit there pretty snugly. So we're inside. We'll shut the door, obviously. Let's go ahead and hit the start button. Get the radio muted again. I can catch it before it starts screaming at us. Okay, I think we got it. I think, I think we're good. Now, we got it running, obviously. Let's go ahead and uh, shift it into gear. There, we're in reverse. Uh, by the way, check out that camera. I love the view it gives you from inside the Gladiator. What an awesome, crisp image. Uh, but that's not what we're here for. Let's go ahead and go into drive. Uh, so there we're in drive. You can see it move. Now, let's go ahead and uh, shut her down because we just pulled into the, the mall, right? Let's shut it down. Key is right there in the center, just like we did in the other one. We're going to go ahead and uh, lock it. Let's do that. 
because I would normally do that, I guess. And that's exactly how I would lock it. I typically don't use the key. Let's shut the door, see what happens. There you go. It did beep. You guys could hear that. Um, I'm curious if the passenger side is unlocked as well. It is. So even though I've locked it, it appears it doesn't lock any of the doors uh, with the key inside. Pretty cool. So now obviously we can just reach in and grab the key and be golden, right? So we know that if you pull up, turn the Jeep off, jump out, hit the lock button, leave your key inside, shut the door, it won't lock any of the doors and it will beep at you to give you a signal that your keys are still inside. But I'm curious, what happens if I pull up, leave the Jeep running, open the door, lock, you know, hit the switch, the lock button, and step out and shut the door? What is it gonna do then? Let's find out. I'm just curious, because that is a different scenario, of course. Will it let you leave the Jeep running if you leave the keys inside, um, get out and lock the door? Now, we got the keys again here. Let's. Put them right there in the center. You can see they're laying there. Start her up. Gotta hit the radio again. There we go. Um, so we're running now. And I'm gonna go ahead and lock. It won't let me lock it. You hear that? It'll let me unlock, but it will not let me lock the vehicle with the door open and it's running. Interesting. Let's shut the door. Obviously it lets me lock it then. And then it won't let me lock it there. What happens if I manually push the button? Huh. What's going to happen now? Let's find out. Um, I've manually hit it because, let's face it, some people do that. They don't use the buttons. They just hit it manually. Is it going to lock? I don't know. I hope I know where my spare is. The Jeep is running. You can hear it. Uh, and there's the RPM gauge to prove it. Let's go ahead. The key is right there in the center console. Let's shut the door. It locked. Oh, man. Check that out. Let's check the other side. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> let's go see if I can find the other key because now my Jeep is running and it's locked. I can't get in. Hold on a minute. Okay. I, uh, I did find my other key. You ever have those moments of panic? I just had one. Let's, uh, let's see if it'll unlock. It appears so. Let's see if I can uh, actually access it and get in now. Oh my God, okay, wow. Uh, <laughs> let's get in. So, apparently, uh, if you push, or push, uh, the lock button here, and it did not unlock either. So it's still locked won't let me do anything. Let's do that. Okay, it was unlocked. Sorry, I had the wrong, uh, <laughs> the wrong view, I guess. Uh, but it did unlock. So, uh, wow. So I guess if for some reason you want to leave your vehicle running with the key inside, uh, all you have to do is hit the uh, button before you get out, then shut the door, and it is locked. I guess they do that just in the weird event. I don't know why you would ever want to leave it running locked with the key inside. Uh, but obviously, you can do it. So keep that in mind. Uh, don't ever hit the manual button, in other words, right here, to lock the Jeep and leave your keys inside, or it will not unlock. Um, or rather, it will stay locked once you shut the door, unlike if you do it with the switch. So... Learned something uh, new about my Jeep today. Got to be honest, I was not aware of that, uh, but definitely will do it. So glad I did the video. Now I know. Never hit the manual button yourself. Uh, always use the electronic button to lock the Jeep because in the weird event that you get out and uh, leave your keys in it, it will beep and will not lock and you can retrieve your key and do it the way that you should, especially if it's running. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, kind of test that out a little bit. Like I said, I did learn something today myself. I was not aware of that. So 
Glad I did this video. Leave a comment. Let me know. Have you ever done it that way and uh, locked your keys inside your Jeep Gladiator? Particularly if it was running? I'd be curious to know. Come on. Go ahead and admit it. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I do have two other channels. The first is Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma. And the second is Rob Motive Civic, about my experiences with the Honda Civic Type R and the Honda Civic Sport Hatch. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.